One of the most difficult things facing students, and I find it difficult to always have done, is editing your own work. I think it's very difficult editing your own work. You get um, locked into things that took a long time. You think it must be in there, it must be included, because it took me five days to put this together. And someone will come along and turn straight over the page. Sometimes it's difficult to sort out the good from the bad from the ugly. And that's where if you've got a reliable friend, tutor, someone who's someone in the business whose opinion you respect, then use them. Call them up. Just keep calling. It's like good training for being a photographer. Keep calling, you know? Don't let it go. And pester people. I mean, there are plenty of students who come on and said, you know, will you, can you look at my work? Can you do this when uh, I'm not teaching them? And I'm more than happy to give them 10 minutes, half an hour looking at a portfolio, uh, telling them where I think an image might not be as strong as the others, or where a juxtaposition might work better. Push, you've got to push. There's no point being a sort of a re retiring flower in the corner, you know, you've, wallflower. You've got to kind of um, uh, get a bit of confidence and just ask people if you don't like what you hear you can discard it you don't have to act on it but at least you can engage and talk and have a conversation and a dialogue which might take you somewhere else how many good images have you got um you could have 24 you could have 30 you could have four absolutely sensational images. Now I have commissioned people on very few pictures and it's scary and uh, sometimes they don't sleep too well till the pictures come in. But uh, I think only once did it go badly wrong. It's showing continuity. Uh, it's showing um, an expression of your personal vision through your work. And if you've got four or five stunning, absolutely stunning pieces in the direction you want to go in, then that can work. Both are important. Um, I think the print portfolio is still important because it enables you to see uh, your work printed up to size. Um, it is very easy to change it for different clients. You can focus it quite carefully. But it's also a very good editing process and enables you to refine your edit of your work, see how your work's changing, and um, keep it up to date. A print portfolio, well edited, that you can carry easily, that doesn't bring you out in a sweat when you're climbing the stairs, um, uh, is fine. Uh, some people even manage to get it down to A4. Um, don't worry about having a portfolio for advertising and a portfolio for editorial. Quite a, pe quite a few people divide them into two. So they've got advertising work and editorial work. Now, in some cases it can overlap, but it's targeted. I mean, I love to see personal work. 
Um, usually it makes for very interesting conversations. Um, and uh, you find out more about the person. And uh, if you uh, have an interesting conversation and you get on well with them, then you're more likely to remember them and think, oh, what, you know, in three months' time, four months' time, when a job comes up, oh, I think that person would respond well to it. Let's give them a chance. We are always on the lookout for new talent. I would never not see a photographer. Um, I'd never not see an artist. Um, sometimes it turned out to be a terrible waste of time and you thought, why on earth am I doing this? And then at other times, someone would walk in off the street on a go-see, you'd see their work, there would be something on your desk that needed commissioning and they'd walk out with a job.